Welcome to Electron Line. In this new playlist, we're going to learn how to find the centroid of three-dimensional objects. We're going to start out by a, with a semisphere, and what we're trying to do here is find the centroid or the center mass of a semisphere. The best way to do that is to start out with a small little volume slice. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little slice like this. If we draw that little slice, it will look like a little disc, just like that. And that little disc will have a certain amount of radius. Now let's see, or let's call that radius small r. And the volume of that, the dv of that, is going to be equal to the area, which is pi little r squared times the height, this thickness right here. And this thickness is going to be a dx because it's, it is in the x direction. So we'll call the thickness dx. That's a small little volume element. We're going to need that little volume element in just a moment. So what we're trying to find is the x-coordinate of the center mass or the center or the centroid of the semisphere. It'll be somewhere in this position right there. We're trying to find out what this distance is right here. x is equal to question mark. To find that, we have to remember that the equation to find the centroid is as follows. The x-coordinate of the centroid is equal to the integral of the x-coordinate of little, each little small little dv. So this is our small little dv. We need to find the centroid of that and multiply times the dv and then integrate over the entire volume of that semisphere and divide it by the integral of the dv. Now the denominator is going to be the volume of the semisphere, which is easy. It's one half the volume of the sphere, which is four thirds pi r squared, or pi r cubed, I should say, because it's volume. Anyway, we'll get to that. First of all, you can see that the distance to the centroid of that small little volume is a distance x away from the origin. So this can be written as the integral of x. And now we have to multiply that times the dv, and the dv is right here. That would be pi r squared times dx. And we divide that by half the volume of the sphere, which is 1 half times 4 thirds pi r cubed. Oh, not little r cubed. That would be the radius of the sphere, so let's call this r, let's call this r sub naught, to call that the radius of the sphere, so let's make that r sub naught cube. So that's the volume of the semisphere, and now we still need to figure out what this is equal to in terms of x. Remember that to integrate that, we need this variable to be in terms of x. r would be this distance right here, that is the radius of the little slice that we took, and Let's see, this here is x, that's the distance to the slice. Using Pythagorean theorem, because we have a triangle here, we have a triangle like this, where this here is x, this here is r, and this is r sub naught, r sub naught being the radius of the sphere, or the semisphere. We can then express r in terms of x. We can say that r is equal to the square root of r sub naught squared minus x squared, using Pythagorean theorem, and that can go in right here. So we can write that as the integral of x times pi. And instead of r squared, we write, well, since it's r squared, we can write like this. r squared is equal to r sub naught squared minus x squared. So we'll replace little r squared by r sub naught squared minus x squared times dx divided by, and 1 half times 4 thirds is 2 thirds pi r sub naught cubed. One more simplification. Notice that we have a pi in the numerator, a pi in the denominator. This can come outside the integral sign because it's a constant, so we can also simplify that. Now, continuing with the simplification, the x-coordinate of the centroid will be equal to the integral of, well, it looks like we're going to have two integrals. I'm going to multiply this times this times dx, so it's x times r sub naught squared times dx minus multiplying this times this, we get the integral of x cubed dx, the whole thing divided by 2 thirds r sub naught cubed. Now we can go ahead and integrate. This is equal to x squared divided by 2 times r sub naught squared, evaluated from 0 to r sub naught, because we're going to integrate from x equals 0 to x equals r sub naught, and then minus x to the fourth power over 4 evaluated from 0 to r sub naught. And the whole thing is still divided by 2 thirds r sub naught cubed. Plug in the upper limit, we'll get 
r sub naught squared here, we'll get r sub naught to the fourth. Plug in the lower limit, we get zero, so we don't have to plug in the lower limit. This is equal to r sub naught squared times r sub naught squared divided by two minus r sub naught to the fourth divided by four, and the whole thing divided by two thirds r sub naught cubed, almost there. So the x coordinate of the centroid is equal to, that will be r sub naught to the fourth power divided by four, oh, no, nope, divided by two, minus r sub naught to the fourth power divided by four, all divided by two thirds r sub naught to the third power. This minus this gives you r sub naught to the fourth divided by four, divided by two thirds r sub naught cubed, and dividing this into this, and bringing this across, this is equal to the three moves to the top, the two stays in the denominator, that gives us three r sub naught divided by two times four, which is eight, and that is the final answer for the x-coordinate of the centroid, or the center mass, of a semisphere relative from the origin, so starting from the base of the semisphere out to where the centroid is, that is three-eighths the radius of the sphere. And that's how we do that.